Yeah, we can go back to there whenever we want. But we can't go back to um, the library dark room ever again. But we're like gathering all the stuff from all the other dark rooms that we come across. So far, just the library. We like gather all the stuff from the library and we like drop it off in the um, in the in the classroom there so that we can have all the stuff together. How to make an appointment? <laughs> nah, just here to hang out. I see. Bees of toy march on. Let's just go in here real quick because this has a random. Okay. Looks like she's resting her voice. I think it's one of the characters from the first game. But it's like a singing mermaid thing. But yeah, I thought we'd bring Susie here. Silver Drake? I've never beaten this boss before. <laughs> what voice did I give him? Alright, hand it over, honey. I got this. No, Dad, this is my battle. So, um, how about just telling me what to do? <laughs> sure. How about trying Fire Shock? I love you, Dad, but the mage left the party. Oh yeah. How about one of your 99 blaze potions? Um, I'm saving those. Go on, your birthday? Come on, uh, live a little. <laughs> Throw something at him. I think I had a voice a bit like this. <laughs> that when I watched the previous episode, I, I caught a glimpse of this. Okay, Dad, this one's for you. Hi ya! It reflects fire attacks. <laughs> Oops, hey, you gotta heal. Wish I knew healing magic in real life. That'd make you better, and it wouldn't just be mom, but me and mom. Aw. Oh. Your mother is. Hey, it's okay, sweetheart. I'm getting better. Might even be able to go, go to church tomorrow. Really? Are you sure it's, you're okay? Holidays happen whether you like it or not. Even though everyone likes holidays. Well, gotta go home soon or mum will call. See you tomorrow, honey. Bye, Dad. Love you. Susie? Why are you here? Uh... <laughs> Sorry, guys. This game is only one player. Um, Dad, this is, um, Susie. Oh, this is Susie. Susie, nice. Susie, nice. Heard a lot about you. You, uh, have? <laughs> cool, I think I have to go now. <laughs> Susie, huh? Yeah. Lay a finger on her and I'll kick your ass. Huh? <laughs> just, just kidding. Well, kind of kidding. Uh. Whoa, the hell is this? The hell is bringing you flowers? <laughs> Hey, what's wrong with a buried guy getting flowers? So your uh, wife gave them to you then? Nah. <laughs> I'm messing with the kids. Chris's dad did. <laughs> it's not gonna try and understand this. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> it's just... Chris's dad is giving Noelle's dad flowers. <laughs> Chris's dad does have to be a florist, so... Sorry, I used up a lot of my energy just now. Probably not going to be very fun to talk to. Thanks for visiting, though, Chris. And you too, Susie. Current situation. <laughs> Seems like I need more ti uh, more tests. So just gotta wait it out. It can't keep me down for too long, baby. Sooner or later, I'm busting out of here. Oh. Besides, your dad ain't much without his main man. Aww. Uh, what is it, Christmas? Noelle? Look, Chris, can't say much, but Noelle might look like she has it all. But her mother, her mother, you know. Love her, but she's tough on her. Normally I balance it all out, but I can't do much when I'm not there. But I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get better. I have to. Susie. Hey, Chris, she's a nice girl, huh? The hell are you taking her here for? Why don't you take her to the movies? Hey, yeah, the hell <laughs> didn't we go to the movies, Chris? Yeah, and take me too while you're at it. Yeah, Chris, come on. Kettle corn, kettle corn, Chris. Big, don't skip out. <laughs> no. Chris, why are you checking the sink? <laughs> That's what I'm asking, sweetheart. 
Why do you collect creepy dolls? Hey, Noel and her sister made that <laughs> respected. Noel's sister? What's your name? Rudolph Rudy Holiday. Hey Chris, you forget my name or something? Oh. Wait, does it still say just a figure diagram showing a bunch of lines in a circle? <laughs> yeah, that's brilliant. Uh, that's funny. Well, Chris, you can play the piano. Plink. <laughs> I almost thought you were serious for a sec. That's with the pissed off look. I'm kind of high for a second. Hmm. I'm still worrying about. I'm still wondering. Sorry about. Um, like maybe Chris can play the piano, but I, the player, can't. So it doesn't work. Uh oh, Elvis. Hell if I'm going any further. Already close enough to getting banned from school. Don't want to be banned from outside of school too. That's the thing, right? All right, let's go. Wait, let's. Okay, let's. Yeah, okay. Let's just quickly talk to Elvis. Hi, Chris. Getting your project done? <laughs> oh, my bike? It's a uh, totaled. I um, I had a little crash. <laughs> you see, there was this police officer in there. Uh, <laughs> it's um, Undyne. It's complicated. How are you doing? Complain about police? Talk about school. Oh, how's your project going with there, uh, Susie? What you want to? You went to the library together. With Noelle and Birdie? A Birdly? That's amazing, Chris! And, um, while you were there, this has nothing to do with me, but the Teen Zone seems to have some good anime reviews, you know? Not sure if you and the gang were checking out the as you studied. Next time you go, might want to casually bring that up among your fellow teens. I, uh, I know your dad li liked Mew Mew too, at least. Again, nothing to do with me. <laughs> oh my god. The beaten bike. The horn looks like it might give a honk of despair. Uh, Undyne's here, yeah. Wait, what, wait, what voice? I feel like I gave her the same voice I gave Susie. Like, hey, get out of the, get out of the road. Hey, get out of the road. Uh, sorry, bad habit. Anything I can help you with, punk? Dark world? Huh? A super dangerous alternate world in the library? More are appearing, people might fall inside? <laughs> Listen, punk. <laughs> You're seriously thinking I'm gonna believe that? <laughs> Dark world. Seriously? <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> oh god. Oh. <laughs> All the criminals. <laughs> Just run away. Hey, wait! Yeah, not again! Looks like I gotta recapture those criminals. Hey, by the way, that yellow glasses lady. Is she your teacher? She kinda had an accident earlier with her uh, bike. She wanted to make sure she was just wanted to make sure she was feeling better. So uh, give her this. You got a heart-shaped box of candies that says "Get Well Soon." Ah, it has "To Your Bike" hastily scrawled underneath the "Get Well Soon." <laughs> Look, "Get Well Soon"'s all the store had. Open it and, I'll, and open it, and I'll arrest you. Look, I'll even put a note on it. Now stop interrupting me. I gotta go. You put the previously described box of candy with a note on it. Put away. Well, kid, for flowers. And we got, um, Spook, what's the name? Oh, jailbreak. I'll sound the alarm. <laughs> I made the jailbreak alarm my mixtape. I made the jailbreak alarm my mixtape. It's a nice beat to, beat to study or relax to while you escape from prison. <laughs> he skipped a news article about Undyne. New police chief Undyne's explosive debut. Passionate young rookie becomes the new police chief. Although energetic, it may be hard to live up to the legacy after Asgore Dreamer was removed from the force. No need to read anymore. So our father was head of police? Huh? Chris, do you have something for me? Or chocolate? Give chocolate. Huh? Chris? What is what is that you're giving me? A box of heart-shaped chocolates? Whoa, no, I can't accept that from you. What? It's from the police? You mean sh she's giving me this? Um, get well soon gift to my bike? 
And uh, there's a note on that that says, Open this and I'll arrest you, you little punk. Chris, I tell her I uh, appreciate it. <laughs> confusing mixed messages. Yeah, I remember last time we finished the first chapter, there's so much, there's so much town to visit that uh, I ended up having like an entire episode of just in the town. Chris, welcome. Did you see? Oh wait. Oh, it was like the priest guy, is it? Did you seek something from me? Person. It's been a few years since my father passed on. Fans of his famous book series, Lord of the Hammer. I still received condolences from them until just recently. A brave man, brilliant and sharp. Chris, it is a shame you were not able to have him as a teacher. And difficult for Miss Alphys as his replacement. Let us pray that the angel will smile upon her. But Azriel, Ah, Chris, your brother. He is a very kind young man. Perhaps even a little overzealous in his younger days. He would visit me often to confess to various sins. Despite the absence of sin or confession in our religion. I remember his small face sobbing as he admitted he had dropped the lizard in the pit to jump high. That's Mario, isn't it? I was like, that sounds so familiar. He's talking about dropping Yoshi to get a to get jump across a gap. Nearly omitting the fact that he had done so in a video game. <laughs> He also confessed to various sins on your behalf, begging for your forgiveness for dropping the lizard on purpose. I would always forgive him and send him home. The Az Ralse is just Azrael, it's just our older brother, but like, yeah. Hammer. As per the ritual, a hammer is buried in the earth here, to symbolize his existence, to connect his spirit to the divine. Originally a smith by trade, he began writing history and made a turn in, into selling stories as a means to entertain his children. That such a story created for such a simple purpose could blossom into such a large, wonderful, world-changing thing. That is the majesty of words, Chris. My father was blessed to have such a talent for writing. Yeah, Gerson, renowned historian, author, and teacher. So, uh, is this your kind of idea of hanging out, Chris? Go to the graveyard? Works for me, I guess. Hmm. Chris and Boom Memorial Bench. Throughout my career, some of my best ideas came from dreams. Take a race here if anyone asks. Wait, you're writing. You heard Alvin mumbling to himself as he walked away. Are you proud of me, father? And is it right for this hammer to... Alright, what we got here? Oh, Terry, say it again. So you don't have to go to the bathroom again. Oh, Terry, say it again. So you don't have to go to the bathroom again. Oh my god, I can't... Oh. The, all three of them are saying it to this guy, is it? I'm not Jerry, I'm Terry. I'm super cool. I totally don't have to go to the bathroom. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Spot. Nothing like admiring the great paint job me and my bro did on our church. <laughs> Having a wide open space is great for us kids. Sometimes it's good to get your freak out. <laughs> we try to play baseball, but that kid keeps dancing in the middle of the lot. I don't feel like there's any way to stop him. No. This is right. That bald guy keeps trying to show me something from his briefcase. Is it a bribe? I'm really deep into politics now. <laughs> put me in, put me in, coach. Put me in. <laughs> well, well, if it isn't the teens, I'm loving rats of the city. You want to get into politics, eh? You better graduate from diaper school first. That's what I did. And look at me now. I don't even work here. That's right, I covered my mouth for this character. Oh, I'm sorry. You're looking for the mayor? She's very, very busy preparing for the festival. I just want to go home. 
and I'm still stuck in a traffic jam. Even though it's only one other person. This is a great parking place. I can see myself settling down here. Oh! I can go into the pizza place now. I think I could actually before. Double ice pizza, great. Ice Wolf, big customer. Ice Wolf, maybe only... Ice Wolf thinks Icy is, is cute. Ice Wolf, big fan. It's so dispensing machine, inspect. You took a long look at the flavors. Water. Ice. Double ice. Bread. Flame hot cheese soda. Gamer blood energy drink. Juice, red flavor. <laughs> Good idea, people put their mouth on those things, you know. What, they do, right? <laughs> wow, my co-worker seems so energetic lately. I don't know what's happened, but... Seeing him happy makes me happy too. Oh, a customer! Would you like a blue soft serve? Yeah, this guy was in the... was in the, um... He was in the hospital before. The pizza sauce is boiling red! Bubbling, burning like my blood yearns for battle! Ah! <laughs> ah, the war shall show it the wizard's fist! And here's that dog guy, yeah. Little buddy, you aren't gonna believe this. I've got a girlfriend! Azriel! You've got to tell Azriel right now! He's gonna be so proud of me! Huh? What you look like? Uh, little buddy, how do you- how do I put it? I don't actually know. I haven't met her in real life. But from the way she texts... God, little buddy, she must be stacked! Lion say you want to hear more? <laughs> sure. So far, she's the perfect girl, little buddy. She loves pizza and bikinis. And to top it off, she sent me a picture of herself wearing a pizza bikini. Little buddy, perhaps it's uncouth, but look at this, goddamn. Several pixels that vaguely resemble a zoomed in JPEG of a pepperoni pizza. Yes, I know what you're thinking, little buddy. Your camera is not of the highest caliber. But to wish. But to her scholarly man, I can't even do, I can't keep up the broken voice, voice. But to her scholarly man, <laughs> if the world like myself, this is what love looks like, little buddy. Alright, let's get out of here. Whoa, don't go in there if you want, but I'm staying out here. Candy's working there today, she hates me. So what if I took Shockboy's hat once? I looked cool. Jockington's... Jockington fans? They're crazy, man. Okay. This is Caddy. Just ignore them. I know. They're embarrassing. Why are they even here? Your family's weird. Because they care. Then they can care. Somewhere else. What? Noelle. Gold hair, starry eyes. She is the light. Laughing in the night. Taught her. Protection spells. Showed her occult findings. But lately she slips. Into the darkness. Chris. You walk among the dark. Protect her. From Susie. I'm talking about Susie. <laughs> I see. Jockington. Pure boy. Heart of gold. I've never met him. I don't know who Jockington is. I don't think I know him, at least. Curiosity high. Intelligence low. Fetches frisbees. Dress him up. Carry in a bag. Precious boy. Don't know why. Family. Dad, mom, sister. Ukulele, football games, soap operas. Yelling, standing on tables, afraid of vacuums. Stupid, loud, very loud. Chris, you and I said you killed together. Incantation for silence. Find it, tell me. To tell you the truth, I thought this was the post office. But by the time I realized I'd already sat down. I'm not hungry, so I've just been telling the waitress I'm still deciding for a few hours now. How am I supposed to get out of this one? <laughs> oh my god. Our little caddy, she's doing us, doing us proud. Working hard, supporting us, 
Same with us pickles, terrifying us with her with their shape. Trying to get us to leave. Proud of her. Ooh, Caddy, you go girl. Show those customers who's boss, little lady. Kick their tush. Whoa, beat them down. You got this. Oh my god. Oh my god, my little fist is so cute in her outfit. Chrissy, like, listen to the song I made about her. Caddy is the best. Caddy is the best. She curses me every day, glares because I'm in her way. <laughs> curses me every day. Cur gl <laughs> glares at me every day. Caddy's the best sister ever. <laughs> anyway, what's up, Chrissy? Sure. Oh my god, Chrissy, you're not going to believe this. I was at the beach playing ukulele, right? And, like... That green alligator evil neighbor girl, like, invaded and started, like, playing my song. With me. Oh my god. Like, it was so fun. <laughs> Wait, isn't she, like, my enemy? <laughs> Cat is my g- <laughs> this, this guy. <laughs> Cat is my friend, and, uh, I support my friends through, th through thick and thin. Long and short, cold and hot. Whatever shape the world takes, I'll be there. It's very honorable of you. This guy next to me... This guy next to me, he's really bulked up. I admire that. I don't know if you noticed, but I've been getting stronger. You could say I'm bulking up for the winner. Just getting a taller and taller hat. Hey, hon! How'd you like the... the hot chocolate? Well, I'm gonna take it, that means you enjoyed it. Take it easy, okay? I'm sure your brother will be back in no time. Okay, well... We got sands, but this isn't. Of course, this isn't sands. <laughs> you kids come out of the library, didn't you? Studying. How wonderful. Personally, I hate the libraries, but oh, sands is a store. Sometimes a hoofed girl comes here, opens the freezer door, and stands in front of it, lost in thought. Guess she really likes the cold or waffles. There's some car magazines on the racks. Might be fun to look at them. But there's other people around. Mm. Various frozen bagels and treats. Hey Chris, wanna see if we can fit inside? If you just crouch down under the waffles. Damn, I think someone's looking. Oh? Okay. <laughs> hey, hey, forgot something? Why, uh, yes. Wait. Why, uh, yes, I think I left my eggs on the counter. I guess your memory is not what, it, what it's cracked up to be. <laughs> There's really egg on my face now, is, is there not? <laughs> You're excused. I don't remember what voice I gave Sans, I'm just gonna give him this voice. Uh, now it sounds as if you are egging me on. <laughs> Aww. They're like, yeah, that's right, in the first game they, they were tr there was a door between them, but they used to tell each other puns constantly. It was like their whole deal. Toriel and Sans. Just punning back and forth endlessly. Egg on, egg off. I suspect a lot from you. Well, I'm exceptional. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and don't forget me, your ex husband. <laughs> uh, hello, Asko. Tori, I didn't expect to see you here, but I. I have some extra flowers, and I was wondering if. Oh, I was just about to go, actually. Oh, <laughs> oh sure. Home is where the heart is. <laughs> um, so when Azriel comes home... Yes, we should all discuss that together soon. Okie dokie. Say hi to Chris for me. Of course, have a nice day. Aww. You know what I want, Bone Man. <laughs> yep, free pickles. Why, thank you. Can I ask, what kind of flowers do you think would make her remember how she felt before? Uh, maybe you should talk to, talk to your plants about that. <laughs> Don't worry, <laughs> these characters now have really similar voices. I keep doing this all the time. <laughs> Don't worry, they're the first ones I asked. They're such good listeners, you know, flowers. <laughs> I can't do a good Patrick impression, which is what I would like. Uh, apparently, Sansa's voice is actually just a clip of Patrick. They're like Sp uh, SpongeBob. <laughs> so 
But I can't do a Patrick impression. That's what- that's the voice I would give Sans though, is imagine you're hearing Patrick when you're- when I'm doing Sans's voice. <laughs> Ignore my voice. Imagine Patrick. Well, yeah. Nothing like a captive audience. <laughs> yes, uh, I can even keep them in glasses. <laughs> it's, uh, like in that- like that movie? Yes, it's- it's very similar to that movie. <laughs> it's, well, have a good one. <laughs> I'm trying. Aww. Hey, Chris, uh... Uh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, I'm the sicko that looks at all the milks to find the best expiration date. You got something about it? I do that. <laughs> I do that all the time. Loose eggs, one dollar. It's too much responsibility for an egg. It's like normal basket of fruit. But when you reach in, it's incredibly deep and holds all sorts of things. Looks like an old palm tree, but it's chock full of useful groceries. Grapes, melons, oranges, and the scent of fresh pineapples. Can I keep examining it? No, okay. That stuff? It's it's used, hands off, uh, half off. <laughs> Wait. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna check the previous game. What is this? Trash. Okay, just trying to remember how his voice, I was trying to mimic what I did before. You can't reach the top, rendering it impossible to get a basket. You'll never be able to buy something in this state. In this state. It's a rack of candy, jerky, and various nuts. See, jerky is candy, and uh, peanuts too. Actually, they're a legume. <laughs> it's not the voice, I, I, I keep... Actually, they're a legume. Peanuts? Jerky? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up? Occupation, see brother, buy things. Occupation. Hey, you the boss around here? Me? <laughs> Me? I'm just the janitor. Then, then where's the cashier? <laughs> cashier? We don't have one. Then who do we buy stuff from? Me. Then that, then that makes you the cashier. Nope, I'm the janitor. I'm just filling in. Are there any other employees? Nope. <laughs> then why didn't you hire someone else? Whoa, you think I can afford that on janitor's salary? What's up? Uh, buy things. Welcome to the convenience store. You wanna buy something, put it in a basket, and bring it here. In case you didn't know what a store was. Hey, what's up? See, brother. Sorry, kid, the brother's thing. The brother thing is gonna have to wait. How long? Maybe a day. Maybe another two years. Who's keeping track at this point? Wink face. <laughs> Cause Sans is one of those characters who knows he's all meta and knows that, that, that this is a game. Cliff knock. Faintly, faintly, a trussle growing further away. A bone tr yeah, a bone trussle growing further away. Ooh, is that a human? If humans are made of bones, where do skeletons come from? <laughs> hmm, that knocking, it's amateur. You still got a long way to go. Hey, uh, Chris, what are you doing? You're going to your house, right? <laughs> I suppose we are. <laughs> like, little Chrissy, you hear? That, uh, guy at the pizza place. God, what was his name? Pizza Pants? Heard he got, like, a super hot girlfriend. What was her name? Like, uh... <laughs> Pizza Rena? <laughs> anyway, what did you like? Wanna talk? Sure. Chrissy, like, guess what? Today I, like, went to the beach and to play with my uke and, uh, like, guess who's already there? That copycat playing the same song I wanted to play. Oh my god, cat on the beach, grody. Did she, did she, like, get lost looking for the litter box? It's like I tried to, like, play the same song, too. To, you know, assert my ukulele dominance. And we end up, uh, get this, playing the whole song together. Like, oh my god, who does this girl think she is? She thinks she can just, like, harmonize with me? Ugh, I can't stand her. Oh, like, you, like, just, like, like, Allie's? 
Oh my god, like, me too, I love alleys! <laughs> like, don't even think you can like them as much as me. Susie. Oh my god, it's like, so sweet you have a na nasty, dirty little friend. But like, this is my polluted alleyway, so like, I think I m might have to go into the mayor and get the traffic sign that says like, no plus ones. Because like, okay. Come to visit me in my alley. I'm a real alligator, aren't I? Oh, of course, alligator, yep. <laughs> I, I don't know why it didn't click in my head. I was like... Yeah, I was trying to think of like how the alleyway linked with her name. I literally tried to think of her name. And I couldn't think of it. <laughs> alligator. Hey Chris, this free milk is amazing. It just magically refreshes, refreshes itself overnight. Um, hey, that's my trash from other people's houses? Like, privacy much? God, living with... Living with Azzy made you weird. As in Azriel. Alright, let's go up here. The friggin' lay motif of the... That's currently playing in my ears. So good. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, hey! Listen up, see that weird circle on the beach? Yesterday I waited on it and something weird came out. Of course it's not yesterday anymore, so too bad. Is it the jellyfish thing? It's like a cat jellyfish thing, I seem to recall from the first game. There we go. I think nothing's gonna happen. Maybe if I... Yesterday... If I go back to chapter one... Um... um that might, something might happen there. It's your dad's truck! The floor of the front seat is littered with old papers and country CDs. There's a door behind the flower shop, but there's flowers blocking the way. Flower King. I went to buy flowers, but the store is closed. The door around back's unlocked. I don't think I should go in. Closed, yeah, because our dad was wandering around before. My brother's too old to take uh, to take for a walk anymore. Hmm. I'm aimless. Wish I had someone to whip me into shape. All right, knock, knock, knock. What, what, what? What, what, what? I'm looking for Blueki. They aren't here. Unless you're looking for someone else. Someone else. Fine, fine, fine. You want to talk to someone else he here? Oh my, someone's here to speak to me. It's you again, is it, darling? Oh my, why do you keep coming to our door? Are you a fan of mine? <laughs> As if someone could tell, uh, could be a fan of a nobody like me. Well, if you are a fan, <laughs> could I bother you for a favor? Since the internet went down, I haven't had much entertainment. Do you have anything entertaining, darling? Could you bring it to my to me tomorrow? It would mean the world to me, thank you. Oh. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Sometimes they have beautiful singing from that house over there. How eerie. Could it be a ghost? Yeah, uh, Metaton and the two ghosts, I think, live in that house. Uh, there's some kind of scratching and hissing from inside. Broken grill. Smells like burnt cat food. There's a cat flap. It's locked, somehow. Various cat themed junk is placed inside the house. Seems to be a bit of a cat sty. It's an ornate cat, it appears to be locked. Yeah, this is it. It's your mom's van. Chris, you going home? Uh, yeah. Alright. Then, guess it's goodbye, goodbye for today. See you tomorrow, Chris. Chris, how was your studying with your... Why, Chris, is that your friend? Why don't you invite her inside? Uh, I mean, I, uh... Chris, I should, um, probably get going in. 
I was going to make a pie. Did you want any? Aw, oh, <laughs> guess I can come over a bit. Oh, oh, what's gonna happen? Yeah, Susie's gonna see the loving home we live in. Feel free to come in. Oh, excuse me, I'm Chris's mother, Toriel. Yes, ma'am, I remember. Oh, do you? And you are Susie, are you not? Huh, you remember my name too? Of course, Miss Elphis is a good friend of mine. She often talks about you. I'm um, glad to hear it. Chris, what the hell is Elphis saying about me? Susie, why don't you wash your hands over there? Then we can make the pie together. Make it together? Uh, but I don't know how to. Don't worry, I can teach you. Okay. <laughs> Chris, Susie seems like a nice girl. I'm very happy you're friends with her, but... Chris, I heard from Elphis about her behavior. If by any chance she uh, influences you, uh, leave the chalk alone, alright? <laughs> Hands are washed. The <laughs> way she's looking up. <laughs> Wonderful, now we can. Oh, Chris, how about you show Susie how to bake it? Chris, you know how to ba make pie? Oh, haven't you made any? Made me any, you dumbass. <laughs> you pie hoarding piece of. <laughs> I mean, uh, excuse me, ma'am. Susie, you can just call me Toriel outside of school. Oh, okay, sweet. Huh? Chris? Oh, you need to wash your hands too? I suppose I shall teach Susie for now. Susie and I will start getting the pie ready to, uh, ready to make. Uh, we, we will? Wait. Okay, well, while, while that's happening. It's a TV. Looks like it's plugged in, but it's dusty. Cheriel, the beloved living room chair. Yeah. Trash can, somehow its floral scent has increased. Yeah, these are all the same from this morning. Hey, what are those metal people shapes? Metal people shapes in the cupboard? Like uh, handcuffs for a little guy's whole body? <laughs> those are gingerbread, Sue. Those are for gingerbread, Susie. Gingerbread men and gingerbread monsters, of course. Gingerbread monsters, huh? Cool. Hmm, hmm. She's sneaking sugar right out of the bag. Susie? What? My my pie, my rules. Got it. The sink, you could wash your hands here, but isn't the sink in the bathroom better? The photo of you on the fridge, it's, I feel like there's, a, there's something's gonna happen. The photo of you on the fridge, it's of you, your mother and your brother. Chris, this is not the time to sneak some chocolates. Chris, get me some, get me some at least. It's a bathroom sink. Will you run the tap? Yes. It starts to run. It's making a lot of noise. Oh. Suddenly I can't control myself again. I had a feeling this was going to happen. Well, let us get the flower. So that's this bag, and you just... Oops. <laughs> Susie, you have flour on your nose. Uh, I meant to do that. Thought you would stop to smell the flower, eh? <laughs> Achoo! Come on! <laughs> now, on to the next part. So, where the, where the heck is Chris? Oh, Chris uh, does this sometimes. Well, they should hurry, I'm getting sleepy. You know what they call a sleeping Susie? Huh? What? They would call her a snoozy. 
<laughs> then, then I guess you'd be a uh, Snoriel. <laughs> Snoriel! Snoozy and Snoriel! <laughs> you really like that one, huh? Wasn't it funny? <laughs> uh. Alright, where the hell is Chris? <laughs> Toriel! The pie is nearly done! Oh, the sugar! Wait! Wait here a moment, I left it in the car! Okay. Is the car gonna be gone? Or have we like s burst the tires or something or cut the brake fluids or something? What do, yeah, what has happened? What is going on? He's gonna go and put his heart back in. <laughs> what the fuck? No need for it. With apple scented shampoo. Feels lighter than usual. Hey Chris, hurry up and hurry up next time. We are already we already almost done. Or we're already almost done. Uh so what's next? Oh, uh the pie. We already worked up quite hard, have we not? How about we finish it later? Um, okay. Then uh I guess I'll walk home. Oh, no, no, there's no need to do that. Oh, actually. Susie, would you like to stay over? Huh? I mean, um... I mean, um, if it's okay, then... Here, look at this! Our couch is used to being used as a bed. It's not perfect, but we could all sleep out here. That sounds good to me, yeah! Splendid! I'll make sure everything is in order. Ah. Just call your parents, will you not? Yeah, of course. So what the hell? So, what the hell? A sleepover? A sleepover? Damn, I haven't had one of those in forever. <laughs> I don't think she called anyone. Hey Chris, it's not like someone has to tell you to sit, right? There. Chill out for a sec. So now what? I got it. Maybe between the pillows here? There, knew I'd find the remote in here. You can always find good stuff wedged in the couch. Jeez, it's dusty. When did you last use this thing? Well, who cares? Let's just watch TV. So what are we gonna marathon tonight? Blood Crusher 3? Hellbusters? Invasion of the Cat Petters? <laughs> Maybe Icy, the movie? It's more your speed, huh, Chris? <laughs> it's been a good day, huh, Chris? You, Ralse, Lancer, everyone. It's just cool to hang out. Uh, cool hanging out together, right? That's why, you know, don't you think we should try to have them come to our world? Come on, think about how much better it would be. Ralse could do your homework. Lancer could live under your bed. We could all walk together to school together. It'd be perfect, you know? I mean, we'd be unstoppable, is what I'm saying. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, that's the attitude. Uh, what if Ralsing became a teacher's pet, though? Or not if, just feels like a matter of time, honestly. Well, whatever. As long as he brings me an apple, too. <laughs> what? Apple shampoo? No, I didn't drink any of that. <laughs> Susie drank some of the apple uh, shampoo, oh my god. Well, whatever. Let's just get back to watching. <laughs> Cat cooking stuff. So the festival's coming up, right? The thing where town becomes a carnival? Stupid, right? But say you had to take someone. Noel or Relse. Um... <laughs> Is that Noelle just getting Susie all like flustered? I don't know what I'm doing with this with these these choices. You 
Huh? Way to dodge the question, dumbass. I mean, if I win, obviously you'd be there too. That goes without saying, right? Look, let's just go back to the two watching TV. Now this is what I'm talking about. A giant monster movie special. Always like... Always like them better than the giant human movies. <laughs> now this is something we can marathon. Are you ready, Chris? For 12 hours of building bashing cr car crunching action? Because we are locked in, got it? I better not see you move in your eyes <laughs> until your eyes are bloodshot. <laughs> now let me just get comfortable here and... There. Yeah. Immediately fell asleep. <laughs> Susie fell asleep. Oh, and she probably snores because she's like a dinosaur or something. <laughs> yeah, we fell asleep too. Is Toriel gonna pop out and say, see us sleeping? <laughs> I like how the TV stays the same. Officer, officer? Thank goodness, I finally got through. I thought I saw someone prowling around outside. And when I checked our car, the tires looked like they'd been slashed. Officer, if you could please come over. You will? Soon? Thank you. Yeah, I, th I wondered if we'd slashed the tires of the car. Like, but why? They're already asleep. Oh. Don't tell me Chris is going to get back up again. Yep. Oh my god. Oh! Are we the ones creating the... the fountains? The dark fountains? Is the next chapter gonna have two dark fountains? But the TV, yeah, the next thing's gonna be TV related, isn't it? See, I thought we were just gonna go into different different closets. Oh. Okay. Well, that's it. That's chapter two. <laughs> Took me a little longer to finish this chapter than I thought it would, but, um, yeah. Damn. So, yeah, it's, we're the ones causing the, the dark fountains to appear. And we've kind of... Oh, does that mean Toriel's gonna be in the next dark fountain? Also, that, that implies to me that it's not entirely... Like, I, I've thought of the Dark Fountains as being kind of like us playing a game. But no, it seems like they are they are some sort of like magical thing. Or there's something something weird's going on, like a tear in reality. And Chris is the one making them. We continue in chapter three, yeah. And like, we left. Oh, we slashed the tires, that's why. That's right. I don't know why. I guess. I guess we kind of did that to get Toriel out of the area for a bit. But like, why? I don't fully understand the tire slashing. But then, yeah, I'm assuming whenever out the, the Chris rips his heart out and throws it somewhere, that's when he goes off and like stabs a hole, creates a new fountain. 
and and then like does that mean we're a titan or one of the titans that was mentioned in the i don't know i'm confused <laughs> i'm really confused now but yeah the next chapter is gonna i think we're gonna just jump straight into the next chapter next time this also wait a second there are seven chapters there's gonna be seven chapters to this game <laughs> wait i thought it was gonna be like four or five no there's seven <laughs> So we had the cards and stuff, we have computer tech stuff. Chapter 3 looks to me like it's going to be TV related, because the TV had the big grin on its face at the end. It had like the grin that Chris's face usually has when they're in like the evil form. Oh, I can still load the old save from the end of the previous game. Interesting, okay. So if I wanted to, um, if I wanted to I can go back and play and fight, uh, Jevil. But that won't count towards my, like, my, the save that's gonna be passed over chapter to chapter. So, uh, <laughs> that's it. That's Deltarune for now. I, now that I know that there's, the like, chapter one and, and two, how long is it gonna take them to finish chapter seven? Like, whoa. Unless, like, the next section that they release is chapter three and four, and then the following section is, like, chapter five, six, and seven. Because otherwise it's going to take them a long time to get through all those chapters. If it takes them like two to three years per chapter. Oof. <laughs> Oof. But yeah, we'll see, we'll see. I definitely feel like it was almost implied that when we went to Slash the Tires we could have made another fountain somewhere. So maybe there was going to be two fountains in the next one. Um, But I somehow doubt that. I'm pretty sure it was the Slash and the Tires was sort of like a distraction. And then the creating of the fountain in the in the main room. Oh no, I get it, I get it, I get it. The slashing of the tires was so that Toriel couldn't drive Susie home. They'd have to walk home. And so that's why Toriel was like, yeah, sleepover. Yeah. That's what it was. And that way, yeah, Chris was able to make the fountain just in the middle of the room. And, and chapter three, we're just gonna wake up in the dark realm, the TV-related dark world, and it's gonna be our, our guest. Like we had Birdley and Noel as guests in the previous chapter. Chapter three's guest is gonna be Toriel, and I'm very curious as to how that's gonna work. Seeing as Toriel was a major character in Undertale, to have another major character from to have a major character from the previous game show up as a as a guest major character in chapter 3 will be very interesting. So yeah, whatever the case. If you like what you saw, hit like. If you want to see more from me, then subscribe. Uh, check the links in the description for my social media pages and my merchandise store page. I can't wait to play chapter 3. It's going to probably be another few years <laughs> before I get to. No. <laughs> Consider sharing the video. Because uh, I could use all the help from you guys that I could get. And uh, ring that little notification bell if you really want to know when exactly I upload videos. Uh, it's usually the same time every day. <laughs> but whatever the case, thank you so much for watching, and until the next episode of whenever Deltarune comes back, I suppose. <laughs>